hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Queeneth um, my apologies for being away for this long I had some personal stuff that I really needed to take care of so guys I'm going to be replicating this trendy pan so this video was recorded immediately I drafted that trouser pattern because I used the trouser pattern to make this pants but unfortunately I couldn't edit it and as such I lost some part of the video so guys here is two and a half yards of mikado fabric you can actually make it of three yards depending on how voluminous you want the lower part to be that's the pleated area so with the already drafted pattern i just had to make little alterations so i have cut my fabric using my pattern what i just had to do was to add one and a half inches on both sides like to the left and the right side of the front and the back because you know that the pattern which we created were fitted pants so this is not supposed to be fitted it's supposed to be a bit loose then i added half an inch upwards there for the seam allowance and also i had to reduce the length of the pant i made it a pedal pusher so the next thing i cut was my band which i measured five inches width and 32 inches long that is the waist i'm working with is 29 plus 3 inches for my zipper allowance so i'll be ironing and interfacing to the band to give it strength air stay to be precise then i'm going to fold it this way when sewing so the next thing i cut was my pocket which measured 14 inches by 14 inches and i cut two for it so the next thing i cut was the fabric for the lower part that is the pleat area so what i measured was 60 inches long and 20 inches wide that 20 inches i'm going to be folding it into two which is going to give me 10 inches why i'm folding it is because i do not want that hem line like the hem stitching on my pants i just want it to look really seamless so these are my two front panels i'm just going ahead to mark the wrong size for mikado the front and the back they look alike and i do not want to make mistakes so that's why i'm marking it so from the side of the front that is where we are going to be marking our pockets so i'm just going to mark seven and a half inches from the waistline down then on the waistline itself i am going to be marking two and a half inches so i lost a part of the sewing process for the pocket and if i upload the other parts you definitely not understand it so i promise that i am going to make a tutorial on how to make a trouser pocket so over here are the two front panels with my already sewn pockets so this is my pocket what next i'm going to do is to place the back panels right sides facing right sides then i am going to sew the sides together so i'm going to place my back panel on top of the front one that is right sides facing right side on the back panel i have already sewn my dart and i'm just going to place it the next thing you're going, going to sew the sides like so and the center the same way that i am showing you so guys i've sewn the both legs as you can see the next thing we are going to do now is to join the crotch area so you're going to place the seams together and you are just going to sew it round so if you're putting a zip at the back you remember to leave like eight inches at the back panel for your zip so i've joined both legs together and this is the front and for the back my zipper is going to be at the back that's why we have that opening right there next i'm going to be attaching the lower part that is the 20 inches which i folded into two remember initially i said that i cut 20 inches long that's because i wanted to fold it into two that's folding it inside out so that it's neat i don't want that hem line to be on my pant so that was why i folded it into two then now we're going to pleat this round the next thing i'll do is to sew my band as you can see i've attached my interfacing i am just going to sew my band round the waistline and afterwards you attach your zipper that's after fixing your band 
so guys just a quick one i first of all made this one and i just sewed it that way like by just pleating it but that's the effect it gave me and i wasn't liking it so i had to try a different technique in doing it so what i did was i sewed a print on it back because you know this is double so i sewed it to the back just the back as you can see this side has no crinoline to it i just sewed it to the back and i'm liking the effect it's giving so I just thought to show you guys a different effect which would definitely be helpful when you are making yours. This is how the trouser is looking. I'll just go ahead to fix the other leg like insert the crinoline to the other leg. Then afterwards I would iron and definitely rock it. Yes, so guys, see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.